Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Chris the Don One, and I am back with another video. The NBA lottery went down last night, and we finally found out what teams are going to be picking in the upcoming draft. Now, the L, uh, the Boston Celtics got the number one overall pick, and currently, right now, the Boston Celtics are a series away from being in the NBA Finals. They got the number one pick. The LA Lakers got the number two pick. And if there's any New York Knicks fans in the his house, they got the number eight pick, I believe. So let's just start with the number one pick, and we're just going to go from number one to number two, all right? The Boston Celtics... Uh, which is a pretty good team that's got Isaiah Thomas, got the number one overall pick. I believe they're going to pick the kid from Kentucky, and it's only going to make that team a lot better. And particularly in the offseason, they have the opportunity and a chance to sign Paul George if he's not feeling the L.A. Lakers and the decisions they have made in the offseason, all right? It all depends on what the LA Lakers are selling to Paul George. But if Paul George goes to the Boston Celtics, that's a great look for the Boston Celtics. He continues to play in the East, and that team is going to be a lot better. And ultimately, they can really compete with the Cleveland Cavaliers, and they may even knock off the Cleveland Cavaliers. Guys, you have to remember, that team is getting older, okay? Now, let's look at the LA Lakers. The LA Lakers have the second pick, and there are rumors and speculations out there that they are going to pick Alonzo Ball. Now, Alonzo Ball and his dad said in a recent statement, they're only going to try out and work out for the LA Lakers, and they're not paying no mind nor any attention to any other team. Now, this is my opinion and what I expect from the LA Lakers, all right? Uh, the LA Lakers, in best case scenario, they're looking to trade this pick to get more picks and more assets, okay? They're trying to get more players on the court right now. The, the players that they have on the current roster, they're not really fond of. Uh, they're shopping the, the, the Delangelo Russell. Russell. Uh, they're not too happy with his development. Uh, they're shopping his name around with other teams, shopping him around. Hopefully somebody wants to pick him up, pick up his contract, where they can get either young talent or draft picks, all right? And... Um, they're trying to rebuild the LA Lakers real fast and real fi uh, real quick to make them ultimately competitive next year. Now, they're not going to be playoff competitive, but they're going to be a lot better and in a better place and in a better situation than what they were last year, all right? Uh, Magic Johnson is the CEO of the uh, CEO, player of operations of the LA Lakers, and he's got the ultimate say on what and who they're looking for for the Los Angeles Lakers roster. So, best case scenario, they're going to trade this pick if they get any takers, considering if they can get three or four picks for the second pick, all right? Now, if all else fails and there's no great deals on the table, then they're going to uh, not pick Lonzo Ball. And I'm going to tell you why in a nutshell. Now, the reason why I feel like they're not going to draft Lonzo Ball, even though uh, he's committed with the LA Lakers, I'm not too sure if the LA Lakers are committed to him. There's a lot of work you have to do with Lonzo Ball. He's going to have to gain a lot of weight. Uh, the pick and roll is going to be brutal on this brother. And when you talk about him on the collegiate level, he never really defended the best defenders 
on the better teams. It seemed like they just had their way with Lonzo Ball, which translation, he needs to work on his defensive presence as well as his offense. He has to have enough arsenal in his offensive repertoire when you're talking about his skill, okay? He's going to have to work on his jumper a little bit more. Uh, I think he's a pretty good free throw uh he, a uh, free throw shooter, uh, he can really move and pass the ball, okay? A lot of people are comparing him to a poor man's version of a Jason Kidd. I just don't see it yet, okay? Uh, I've seen him rise to the occasion on several games on the collegiate level, but when the light got hot and when the, the competition got better, he struggled uh, in that competition, all right? A lot of the opponents he were defending were pretty much having their way with him. So you're going to need to uh, develop him. He's going to be a green as a banana. Uh, I just feel like the L.A. Lakers are trying to progress this team. Uh, they've been developing long enough for the past couple of years. Uh, and it just hasn't panned out. In best case scenario, they rather just trade that pick to either get more picks or younger talent that's already been established and, and pretty much decent or good, okay? So that's just my opinion on the matter about Alonzo Ball. Uh, I feel like he's going to really fall in the draft because a lot of these NBA aficionados, they're going to look at the data at hand. They're going to do their homework and their proper research on him, particularly on the games uh, where they count the most, which was the NCAA tournament, okay? So I think Alonzo Ball, as well as his father, his father is really not giving him uh, any type of credit in the NBA level, all right? Uh, the father is going to keep a lot of teams shying away from Alonzo Ball. And I think uh, ultimately uh, teams that have that have risk takers in their organization, like maybe the Dallas Mavericks, um, even the New York Knicks, the Brooklyn Nets, they may, uh, even though the Brooklyn Nets don't have a first round pick, I, I don't think they don't, I don't think they get another pick until the second round. But uh, teams that are striving and looking for talent and will go as far as being risk takers, those are going to be the teams that's going to be looking at Alonzo Ball. It wouldn't shock me. It wouldn't surprise me if he lands in New York City or in Dallas. And Miami may utilize his service if they get the opportunity to pick him. Okay. But it is what it is. But guys, tell me what you think out there. Rate, comment, subscribe. Please, notification gang in the building, please notif hit that notification bell so you'll know when my next live stream or video is going down. It's your boy. I'm Chris the Don One, and I am out.